Bow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're gonna go over does Beats by Safe have a legitimate chance to be one of the next big producers, and does his method actually work? Now, I was put on to Beats by Safe a few months ago. It turns out it was not too long after he really started to become known, and I was put on by one of you guys. I could not find the comment though. My bad if you out there. Appreciate it. And for those of y'all who don't know who Beats by Safe is, he is basically a producer, beat maker, whatever you want to call him, but he's gotten known through Twitter by basically finding popular comments from, let's just say, celebrities, popular rappers, and then doing tweet replies to be at the top of their threads. And I don't just mean a few of them, I mean a whole lot of them, to the point that people who are following them get to know him and they see this little video of him playing his music. Of course, a lot of people are calling Beats by Safe a spammer and things like that. And even the person who brought Beats by Safe up to me wanted to know, does his method work? Immediately, I thought the fact that I was being asked about was his spam method working let me know in my mind that he had to be on to something. But I decided to wait a few months for a video just to see what happened. And here we are. So you guys might remember if you've seen my Fetty Wap video, I talked about how the fact he was hitting people real hard, hitting people real hard from all angles. Like of DJs and the fact that DJ Envy actually ended up blocking Fetty Wap even though he supported him and actually advocated his push later down the road. Beats by Safe had similar events. Smoke Perp actually tweeted, stop nigga please. And hey, for one, as I've said plenty of times, the, your first goal is to get out of obscurity. If people do not know you, they can't listen to your music, they can't buy your beats. Even Black jokingly tweeted Beats by Safe saying that one day he was gonna post some deep stuff and Beats by Safe would reply only with one of his beats as he's been doing everybody else. As a matter of fact, Ugly God blocked Beats by Safe and then turned around to follow him, DM him, and basically apologize. Safe actually got to meet Ugly God. I'll make sure I link this video down below because it's pretty dope. Follow me on Instagram. Get my, my get my get my nigga popping. get my nigga Twitter to 10k and get my nigga Instagram. Pop, hey, bro. if I get to 10k, should we drop a song together? <laughs> and oh, and not to mention, Spicious and Plains wrote an article about this troll beats by Safe. So how many people have been spending so much time trying to email blogs and get on blogs? And he already had a blog written on him after about maybe a month or a month and a half of doing this. But let's be clear. This dude is aggressive. He's so aggressive and stays on tweeting these people that a lot of people have thought that he had a bot to actually get it done. So has what he's been doing working? Obviously so far, just from those two things, yes, he's gotten out of obscurity. People know him, particularly on Twitter. But to even drive that point in and even make him bigger, Lil Uzi Vert got accused of stealing a Beats by Safe beat. And this is not Beats by Safe accusing Lil Uzi. This is people who've known Beats by Safe and listened to his beats after he kept posting and posting and posting. And people were like, yo, that's one of the beats that Beats by Safe be posting. Now, at the end of the day, the people were wrong. The beat wasn't stolen from safe, but the fact that he has people that know him enough and have heard his beats enough to listen to somebody else's music and think they recognize it once again reinforces that he's out of obscurity. And let's just throw in that TM88 added him on Instagram saying that he hopes he gets signed to somebody basically because dude's grind has been crazy, just a relentless list that he's shown. And now we get here. Everybody looks at this spam and as people getting bothered, but you have to realize there are these social norms right these boxes that people create they're not even real rules or laws like hey don't post this many times or you'll seem uncool or don't hit somebody up this time this or this many times because you'll seem needy or thirsty all those social norms exist and the people who step outside of those are the ones that usually stand out and benefit not the people who necessarily say I'm a dress different because so many people are dressing different whatever that is that you can't even tell who's supposedly different anyway it's like a cool thing. The only people who really stand out are the ones who act differently. And a lot of times that means overcoming that small uneasiness that it might take to post something so many times or reach out to that person you already reached out to one more time, two more times. I got a homeboy who's like, yo, if I reach out to somebody, they don't ever get back to me. I don't want to seem thirsty. 
Nah. Now, of course, in being a GOAT and a next big time producer, Safe is gonna have to actually be a good producer, make good beats, but let's not forget that Metro started off in a very similar way, hitting dudes up on Twitter and MySpace, and then once he got brought in, he was able to really focus on that talent and continue to move. So not only has he made enough of a name for himself to have copycats, but he said in three months, he's gotten 20 million views on Twitter, 7,000 new followers, and he's gaining a whole bunch of what he calls to be real fans. I don't think there's much else for me to say to prove it's in a pudding. All I can say is don't go do exactly what this guy did. Find your own way and creative way for you to go hard from some different angle. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.